Well, there's been a lot of talk in the past few days about the future of campus police at Southern Utah University. And we wanted to find out if that was just talk or something more. Fox 13's Brian Schnee spoke with the university this afternoon about their police force and what's now being discussed. Southern Utah University says none of their police officers have been let go, but there is talk of changing how policing is done on campus and it could be a different uniform. We'll either find a way to have the same quality for less money or a better quality for the same money. Conversations began in early May between Southern Utah University and Cedar City regarding the future of the SUU Police Department. What we want is um, good, immediate response to anything that might happen on campus. A department that's very familiar with us, willing to engage with us and our students. SUU President Scott Wyatt telling Fox 13 that this topic was brought up in numerous forums on campus, as well as being discussed in prior legislative sessions. Wyatt says in his six years as president, there have not been any complaints about the existing police force. Why would two government agencies in such a small space have duplicative services when we could actually team up together and make it stronger. Cedar City Police have nearly 40 officers and given the close proximity, the two departments already work together quite often. It's kind of unknown. Uh, it just depends on the amount of calls for service with the amount of officers that we're allowed to obtain through this proposal. Both sides would have to agree on what the proposal presents. Regardless, Cedar City Police already assist with certain calls, including large events on campus. Those opposed to the change have spoken out on social media. A public group on Facebook is filled with a common message, a shared concern with accounts from student interaction with campus police in the past. A post on the page suggests the current SUU officers would be put out of work. I don't know how many or what would occur. We have a very small department. Um, not all of them would lose jobs for sure. If we were able to um, absorb their positions, all of their positions, then I, I think it would be a lot easier for everybody. Cedar City Police Chief Darren Adams is drafting the proposal to present to Southern Utah University. The extent of the proposal right now isn't clear in terms of a date of when this change could actually happen. However, Cedar City Police anticipate it could happen soon. Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.